Hello! So today I'm doing a video on my top 10 best live David Bowie performances. Just my little list of what I think were the best David Bowie performances that he did over the course of his lifetime career. Which is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of performances. Why did I say top 10? I meant top 14. Top 14 best David Bowie performances. And now I feel like I haven't done a David Bowie video in 47,000 years, which I haven't, because I haven't done a David Bowie video since August 20th. Number 14 is 1984 slash Dodo live at the 1980 floor show because that was a really, 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 really good show and the performance is so good and that's one of the first David Bowie performances that got me like further into him because I used to watch that every single day. I really did for like a, a long while. I was watching that all the time because I thought it was just so, 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 so good. Because there was like five David Bowie performances that I seen when I was first getting into David Bowie and that's one of them and it was one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Still is one of the best things I've ever heard in my life. So that's why 1980 Floor Shash Dodo and I have at the 1980 Floor Show is the best is in there. Is number 14. Number 13 is Look Back in Anger, live at the Lorelei Festival in 1996, because if you know me and you see my videos, you know I always use this video, because this was the best, I kid you not, the best performance of Look Back in Anger I have ever heard in my life. And the Lorelei Festival is festival, or festival, like festival, festival, I don't know how to speak English, as you can clearly tell, but if you look through any of my videos, you'll see multiple performances from the Lore Life Festival. I love that concert, love that video. It's one of the best things I've ever heard in my life. If you know me, you know I love that in between era, David Bowie in between era, between Earthling and between outside. So that's why Look Back in Anger live at the Lore Life Festival is number 13. Number 12 is Fashion, live the Glass Spider Tour, because this is the best performance of fashion I ever heard in my life. It's wonderful. And their dancing and stuff is really, really good. Um, he sounds really, really good. I love the red outfit that he's wearing, and I just love the little dance that goes along with it, because Fashion is not really a one 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 song for me. It's kind of like Look Back in Anger. I didn't really like it till I heard it live, then I was like, yes! Now it's good. Like, a lot of songs are like that for me. Once you hear them live, like with, um, Moon is Daydream, I was like, if I had heard the album version of that before I ever seen the Ziggy Stardust movie, but I seen the Ziggy Stardust movie before I seen, before I listened to the actual Ziggy Stardust album. And I said, but if I had listened to the album first, then I probably wouldn't have liked Moon is Daydream. But since I seen the movie first, I was like, oh my god, this song is beautiful. So that <clears throat> just goes to show that live, Performances do a lot for how you feel about songs. Number 11 is The Man Who Sold the World Live at Lorelei Festival. Again, because I love, 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 love the Lorelei Festival. There's so many good performances in um, the video of the Lorelei Festival. Like, there's Outside, there's Breaking Glass, there's We Prick You. All these songs are so good, especially live. And, like, forever in my soul deeply connected to my soul forever because I just love all these so much and that's why The Man Who Sold The World is 
number 11, not only because it's really good performance, but also because of the change they did to it. Like, this is what I like about David Bowie's live performances. He always tried to do a different version of the song when he performed it live, rather than just performing it the same way they perform it on the studio version on the album. He always tried to change it, make it more melodic, make it more grungy, make it more whatever. And I love, 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 loved that about David Bowie's performances. So that's why um, the man who sold the world live at Lorelei in 1996 is number 11. Who knows, not me, we never lost control. Number 10 is Suffragette City, live at the Coliseum. I'm just saying Coliseum because I don't really know how to say that word. Is it Nasasu? Is it Nasasu? Is it Nassau? Nassau? Nasasu? Nas? Nasu? Nasu? I don't know how to say that word, so I'm not going to bother trying to say it because... So, um, yeah. Suffragette City, live at the Coliseum. I saw our tour, Thin White Duke, 1976. Perfection performance, literal perfection, and I love this so much. That's why that is number 10. Outside, live in 1996 at the Lorelei Festival because again, the Lorelei Festival is wonderful, it's perfect, it's beautiful, it's good. I love, 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 love the Lorelei Festival and it's just amazing. So everybody should listen to it. And I was surprised how many people ignored like David Bowie's 90s performances. He sounded so good in the 90s. Like, don't believe the hype that the era that's most famous is the best era because it's usually not. And like, it's the same thing as when people be like, this song is this person's best song. Because it's their most famous song, it doesn't mean it's their best song. So, now. <laughs> the time that you die. The time that today. They fell on today. They been on the outside. But I'll stand by you now Not tomorrow Oh yes, we die Okay, so now on to number eight. Number eight is I Wanna Be Your Dog live at the Glass Spider Tour in 1997. Not 1997, 1987. Ten years before 1997. Um... I love the Glass Spider Tour, I don't care what anybody says. Yes, the albums tonight and Never Let Me Down are trash, but the tour was actually good. He sounded really good on the tour. Why is my hand shaking? So if you see the shaking, just my hand being how it always is. I have shaky hand. If nobody knows that, my hand shakes really badly. So anyways, um, 1987. David Bowie, live, I Wanna Be Your Dog, Iggy Pop cover. He also did Bang Bang and some other Iggy Pop songs, and they're really, 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 really good. At the Glass Spider Tour, the performances are on point. Plus, the Glass Spider Tour features Peter Frampton, and you know I love Peter Frampton if you've seen my other videos. So, that's why um, I Wanna Be Your Dog, live in 1987, is number eight.
Number seven is This Is Not America, live at the BBC Radio Theatre in 2000, because when the year I was born, even though I'm pretty sure this took place at, like, in July or something, so I wasn't born yet. I was almost born when this came out. I always make that joke. I'm like, I was almost born. It's because I was born in November. November? November of 2000. So this was like in June or July of 2000. So I was this close to being born. So anyways, I just love this performance. And everybody knows I liked David Bowie as he got older because I feel like he performed way better. He sang better. He did a lot of stuff really good when he got older. And This Is Not America is a really good song. Um, though I never watched a movie it came from, I don't really even know how I discovered the song This Is Not America. I think one day I was just scrolling and I stumbled upon it, so that's why it's number seven. The little bitch in me will Number six is Sweet Thing Candidate Reprise that he did in Cracked Actor. This performance, I love, 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 love so much, especially not only because Diamond Dogs is my favorite album, but because this is a really super good performance, and I usually didn't like a lot of David Bowie's almost young Americans era performances. It's just because of how he sounds a lot of the time. That was like, hey, do, 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 do. But most of his, to his credit, most of the eras he had sounded, he sounded good on those live tours. Only a few live tours was I like, can you not? Like, nobody stabbed me. Serious Moonlight, no. Doesn't do it for me. It's just no. So I can't take the Serious Moonlight tour. It sounds so horrendous. I don't know why. It just does. But so... That's why Sweet Thing Candidate Reprise Live, 1974, in Cracked Actor, is number six, because it's super duper good, and everybody should watch Cracked Actor, because it's really good. is Big Brother Chant of the Ever Circling Skeletal Family live at the Glass Spider Tour in 1987 because it just sounds so good. And plus, um, Big Brother slash Chant of the Ever Circling Skeletal Family is a really underrated song and I always say that. Anybody who ever comes up to me, nobody ever came up to me, but anybody who ever asks me what is your favorite David Bowie song, I always say Big Brother Chant of the Ever Big Brother slash Chant of the Ever Shuckling Skeletal Family because it's really good and deserves to be more appreciated than it is. So that's why it's number five. I know you think you're awful spreader, but you made everyone that could be everywhere. Lord, I take an overdose if I knew what's going down. Number four is Starman on Live by Request because this is the David Bowie song I had on repeat when I first got into David Bowie. And I didn't even notice that because then I went back and looked at videos from the time and I noticed the song Starman was playing in the background and I was like, what? Was I that obsessed with this song? And apparently, yes, I was. So that's why Starman is really special and it's number four. That was hazy cosmic time. This is and waiting in the sky. He liked to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds and there's a star. Waiting in the sky. So it's not so low. Cause he knows it's over by the tell me. Let the children lose it. Okay, number three is Station to Station, live at the Nassassu, Nassassu, Nassass, 
Nasu Coliseum, I don't know what you call it, like I said, the Coliseum in 1976 along with um, Suffragette City which comes after station to station. But because when I heard this, I was like, what is this amazing, amazing progression? I love this. It's like Stairway to Heaven. It starts off slow and then it gets fast at like the five minute mark and I love how a lot of songs in the 70s were like that with the slow chord progression and then they slowly get faster and more upbeat and it starts off slow and melodic. I love, 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 love that so much, so much perfection and there's such a thirst for live music today in my opinion because everybody nowadays uses such fake music so it's a refresher when you hear real instruments being used it's just like, oh my god real instruments and it's just so perfect and I love it so much. That's why it's number three. Once there were mountains on mountains, once there were summers to soar with, but once I could never be down. I've got to keep searching and searching, oh what will I be believing and who will connect me with love? Cracked Actor live at the BBC Radio Theater in 2000 because I love, 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 love that show. He did so many good songs on that show from um, Stay to Ashes to Ashes to this to I'm Afraid of Americans. So that's why I like that performance and that song. And you know Cracked Actor is in my top five Dave Buddy songs. It's one of my favorite songs. Always probably will be. And I love, 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 love it so much. So that's why it's number two. Sold your illusions, you're back full of checks. Hey, baby, that connection, cause I just want you. Number one. Number one is Changes on Live by Request because, like I said, Changes is probably technically the first David Bowie song I ever heard in my life because I heard it when I was a little kid. I always knew the song Changes, never was like, who sings this song? But then when I got into David Bowie, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the man that sings this song. And that's why that song is so special to me. And I love that song so much. And that's why 
and because live by request was a really good show so that's why um they've really seen changes on live by request is number one for watching and I'll see you in the next video.